Hi, I will show you how I inspected uh, the oil pump, pump on my XF650 Suzuki. This is the same pump uh, that is used in the DR650 and also uh, should be similar to other Suzuki models. Now, this is a little strange, but my pump is rarer than the, the manufacturer here says MIC made in Japan 829 the, most of the models I, I've seen are Mikuni but they are the same they are interchangeable and I think this manufacturer maybe stopped working with Suzuki or got the uh, closed down and they started to use the Mikuni maybe because the new ones are Mikuni but anyway after I disassembled it which I will show you uh, the steps when I put it back together what you need to notice uh, I had to check the clearances Okay, first I will assemble and I will show you also what I needed to inspect. So they say to wash it with oil. I just put engine oil in a cup. And I lube it. This is the inner case. I had doing it one handed, but ah, sorry. See, I put oil. everywhere okay now this is the outer rotor you see the punch mark it should be uh, it should be pointing inwards like this also this is the inner rotor the punch mark also inside okay Got to lube it too. Let's lube it too everywhere. It's hard to me to hold the camera and also watch what I'm doing. My pump seems to get stuck somewhere, but I guess I rotated, rotated it the wrong way, so I'm going to check it and maybe you can comment if it should be like this or I have to replace it. Okay, I put it back. This is the punch mark. Now you see this pin, this pin goes like this with the circlip holding it from the other side. Now you need to match the inner rotor so it will have space to go because this can be misaligned okay and this also is looped already and I put it like this uh, let me think for a moment 
this pin yeah this pin goes in the outer hole there are two holes there are two pins one from the inside one from the outside and I push it like this okay <clears throat> now to inspect I did it already but you have to make sure there is no more than 0 0.2 millimeters space between the inner rotor and the outer rotor and I measured it for all the combination four teeth and each teeth with one two three four five you see there are five so each teeth can be mashed with the outer teeth so I did it four times for each teeth actually one two three four five you have to do it five times for each teeth I did it only four but I'll take the risk and it, if it doesn't go in then it's fine and the outer you have also to make sure the outer rotor is 0 0.35 millimeter no more than that the space between them if there are more you have to replace the pump and it's one unit you have to replace the pump with the rotors and those are sold separately but the inner pump is complete I mean the pump itself is complete, the outer parts you can order. Okay, so... So now... Let's wash it too. Now, you see the scoring that I have here? They didn't mention anything about them. I hope it's okay to use it. If you think it's wrong, then tell me. It's got scored, it's a uh, pump from 98, so it's 20 years old. Anyway, this is the outer part, and now you see this uh, little hole, this goes here with the little hole. sure the pin is in like this and now it's matched now I, I had a problem when I took it off I didn't know how to separate those two cases it's not easy to do when you don't know how to so I found out that I could rotate I just took a screwdriver put it in and use it as a lever to rotate one case from the other and then you need some force to make it so to separate them but just rotate them and then it will be easy to push them and I use the vice grip to hold uh, next thing is to put the screw back it should be thread locks thread locked uh, I'll do it in the end I'm coming to this side. No, there are two washers. One goes down, then comes the pin. Wait a second, sorry. Yes, then comes the pin. Now, this one. 
this one this gear should face the you see the other side is flat and this side has a bulge in it so this should face outside and then you put the sear clip sorry you put another washer you have to push the pin from the outside to have space and then you can put the sear clip on now the sear clip has two sides one is sharp the other one is smooth they say to put the outer the sharp edge if you touch it with the hand you'll feel it sharp at the edges outside and it's also marked with a white dot so this goes outside Uh, I would put it together and show you how it rotates. Okay, so it does rotate better than before. Maybe the cleaning or the dubbing helped. It doesn't stuck anymore. Use circular pliers to put it together. And. <coughs> They say to put thread locks also on the bolts that goes to the engine case. This I will do in the end. And this screw I will put now with a thread lock. Uh, always use the JIS Phillips screw head. Don't want to strip the heads. That's all. Thank you.